Hi there guys, this is 2E0 VOV. Uh, I'm doing a little bit more homebrew. Uh, the intentions are that I'm going to build a uh, attenuator today. I've nearly finished building this one. Just thought I'd finish showing you it as it comes together on the final process. Um, basically, um, this is to help me run lower power on Whisper. And uh, uh, this is a cheap box bought from eBay. Uh, I'll put a flasher picture up on the screen. So you can see where it's from. It comes pre-drilled on the ends so that when you put it together it will fit SO239 sockets. So that will just drop into place, snaps in, you put your screws in and that makes you uh, an attenuator. Now this obviously it will affect attenuation for in and out. I'm building, for, as you can see, I'm building it for 10 dB. Um, so in my case this is to work with the Whisper Beacon or a uh, Whisper Light. I've got, you know, acquired a Whisper Light as well which still works as a beacon so I'm only interested in reducing power from my uh, transmission. Um, so purely working on the theory, this is a pine, going to be a pine network. We've got two 100 ohm resistors dropping down to ground in the center and we're going to have a 75 ohm which will be soldered in series so it will go from this terminal here from the hot terminal there to the hot terminal on that side and we'll build a full complete Pi network for 10 dB attenuation now the plan is that as I say this will run my whisper so I can run a 5 watt radio if I wish I could run a 5 watt radio 10 dB would make it produce 500 milliwatts. Um, you could run it as I'm planning. I'm planning to run the FT817 through this with 500 milliwatts. Give me an output of 50 milliwatts. One end tinted of the resistor, say a 75 ohm, this particular one. 3 watt, by the way, 3 watt resistor. There we go, beautiful. So we'll just get this one into position. Right, so we'll reassemble our little box. So I say reassemble because I've already had it put together as a test run first to check that how it would assemble and would it actually physically work with these components combined, and it does. So uh, very pleased to say this is a nice type of box to use for this type of work. There we are. So we've just got to put our screws in the end and the unit's built. Right, anyway, so thanks for checking by. I say this will be pressed into service for my um, future use of Whisper. I will be doing some tests, uh, uh, A and B antenna tests using Whisper, and I hope to bring you some videos of it soon.